Gamers of the world rejoice. The next generation of games consoles has finally arrived, making it the now generation or this generation or something catchier. Sony's PlayStation 4 went on sale in Europe at midnight last night, and in London, excited fans queued up to be among the first in the territory to get their hands on it. I want to buy two, one for my living room, one for my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's taking it a bit far. No, it's not. This is the next gen. We wait. This is the longest generation. We've waited, what, Did seven, you not just buy a second set of wires and carry it between them with you? <laughs> nah, it's not worth it. You've got to do the whole thing. So I was dying to get the PlayStation 4, and it's been a long time coming. Because over the last few weeks, I've been watching the online play in the US, and it just now it's my time to have it in my position to play. My boyfriend goes to university in Stafford, and he couldn't make it to uh, the midnight launch, so I'm here buying it for him. <laughs> I want to play before everyone else. I want to have my hands before everyone. To be honest, I wanted to be here for the launch event. It's my first time. Well, unfortunately, couldn't make it for the PS3. So, it's my first time, so feel the buzz. The PlayStation 4 launches at a price of £349. That's £80 less than rival Microsoft's Xbox One machine, and has been pitched by Sony as a console for the players, which has won it plenty of fans, especially after Microsoft seemed to be courting a more mainstream entertainment-focused audience with its console presentations. So do you have any smack talk for people who are buying an Xbox One then, why Sony's better? You're wasting your time. <laughs> Definitely wasting your time. Xbox, Xbox I mean, uh, play, for, PlayStation 4 for the, all the way. PlayStation has been out from the beginning, so I'm just a die-hard fan for PlayStation. But Xbox only came out, I think, in 2003 or 4. So I'll just stick to what I know from then. There's a lot you could say, apart from, up, apart from Titanfall. Um, we could say, um, look, it's... It's cheaper, it's more powerful, you've got more games coming out for it. Uh, we tr I've tried the controller, I think the controller is better, the camera's not being forced on you. Uh, Multi-platform games look better on it, so something like Destiny, uh, you want to you get the definitive experience of next uh, multi-platform games, it's a no-brainer, it's the Sony. And you know what, it's a gaming console first, it doesn't try to be a jack of all trades and a master of none, it's a master of one and that's game. <laughs> Boom! And it's not just the extremely dedicated midnight launch queuers who seem to be backing Sony. According to Sony Computer Entertainment's CEO Andrew House, the PS4, which has been out since the 15th of November in North America, is already a hit with the wider market. It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, we sold a million units in the first 24 hours, um, which has broken all records for any console launch that, that we've certainly undertaken. Uh, and I think it's just a testament to a couple of things. A real sense of excitement around a new platform launch and its potential, uh, but also a sense of just pent-up demand, perhaps, because it's been such a long intervening period since you know the last console lifecycle. By comparison, the Xbox One also shifted a million units in its first 24 hours on sale, but it launched in 13 different countries at once. What is it you think that defines the PS4 over its rivals, Xbox One and Wii U? What, what is it that makes it the definitive gaming experience or the definitive console to own? I, I, I point to two things. I think that in terms of raw power and particularly expressed in graphic processing, I think it's a phenomenal device that we will see more and more differentiation on that aspect over time. Uh, I think it's also fundamentally just the easiest um, system, I hear this from developers all the time, for them to get to grips with. And that's important because that's what eventually translates into new, different and great game experiences that we haven't seen before. So if the opening salvo of this latest console war is anything to go by, PlayStation's focus on games could be giving them a leg up on their rivals.